So let's take a closer look at some of those plant pigments, phytonutrients that I, I talked about. So look, these are only a few of them. They're some of the more common um, phytonutrients, I guess, that we see in fruit and vegetables. And, you know, first up, we have a group of pigments called the carotenoids. And perhaps the most well-known is beta carotene. So it's an orangey colored pigment. And not surprisingly, it's quite abundant in orange colored fruits and vegetables. So carrots, winter squash, sweet potatoes, oranges. Um, but I guess the other thing to highlight is you do get beta carotene in things like your, your dark leafy greens. It's simply that the chlorophyll, which is the green pigment, predominates. So it hides that orangey pigment underneath. Now, the wonderful thing about beta carotene is it has these fantastic antioxidant capacity, but also that it's a precursor to vitamin A in the body. So when we consume beta carotene, if the body is needing vitamin A, then it will convert in the liver to vitamin A. So it's also wonderful in that respect. Then we have lycopene, which is also a carotenoid, but it's a red color and it's really predominant in tomatoes. So we'll also see it in watermelons and a few other fruits and vegetables, but tomatoes is its kind of really key, I guess, key place that it, it likes to reside. And the interesting thing with lycopene is that when you have sort of cooked tomatoes, it really brings out that the compound a whole lot better. It makes it more accessible. And lycopene, again, is a wonderful antioxidant. It has some anti-cancer properties. And lycopene has a real affinity for the prostate gland. So it's used a lot with male health issues, prostatic enlargement, prostate cancers. That brings us to lutein, which is also a carotenoid. It's more a yellowy color. It's quite predominant in green leafy veg and green peas and broccoli. So there it is, it's an interesting one. It's a yellowy color, but of course it, it gets hidden by the chlorophyll content of those vegetables. Again, it's antioxidant. And the interesting thing with lutein is that it really has this affinity for the skin and for the eyes. So it almost has like a, I guess, a kind of protective effect in the skin against UV damage. And I'm certainly not saying there that you go and lie out in the sun and think that you're not gonna get sunburned. Um, that's not the case, but it has a degree of protective effect. But for eye health, it is quite renowned. And the, the thing with lutein is that often, it often comes paired with another carotenoid called zeanthine. They often exist together and in combination, they're fantastic for eye health. Okay, we're gonna to go to a slightly different color and a different group of pigments. So a couple of our pigments that are in the group called the flavonoids. And the first one is anthocyanins and they're like a red, purple, blue color really abundant in things like blueberries and blackberries, purple carrots, and they again are really powerful antioxidants. So the antioxidant theme is, is kind of quite predominant, isn't it? That brings us to quercetin, which is also a flavonoid, a yellowy color. It's really rich in onions and broccoli, apples, citrus, berries, quite a range of fruits and vegetables. Now, quercetin does have some antioxidant properties, but it's perhaps most renowned for being anti-inflammatory and also for having some antihistamine effects. So really good for allergic type conditions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.